What is up everybody? I am Mason with the Mock Buster YouTube channel. A little late to the party, but today I'm going to be talking about my 4K and Blu-ray pickups for the month of February. It is time, we are finally in March. Uh, March is my birthday month. Yes, March 14th is my birthday. So in a couple weeks, I'm gonna be celebrating going to a bunch of stores, physical media stores, to pick up some good stuff on my birthday. It actually relates to why there aren't many, st there's, there's, a, there's a few, there's a good stack of Blu-rays and 4Ks here. It's just not as many as uh, my other months, especially from October and November. Uh, because this month, I'm going to be splurging a lot, buying myself a lot of 4Ks and Blu-rays. So stay tuned for that March 14th, 15th. I'll make a video on uh, my birthday Blu-ray bonanza. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so I'm going to start off by saying I splurged a lot for the $5 Blu-ray deals. So most of these are Blu-rays. But I did get a few 4Ks. I'm going to be talking about some of those today or all of them. And first off, we have Scream on 4K. Picked this up earlier in the month of February. I uh, went to my local Cinema One. Uh, one of the only um, physical media stores in my area. Well, not really my area. I had to drive like 30 minutes to get there. But still, it was worth the drive because this never got a full general release in Canada. Only boutique uh, stores and like specialty stores were able to pre-order these not even my sunrise records had these so i was very excited to pick this up this was a bit pricier on the side i think 38 dollars i got this for so uh yeah i spent a bit of money on this but i'm glad i got it uh wes craven love wes craven and i wasn't really too open on the screen movies but my brother said he wanted to watch it and i know this is a big release now i'm seeing that these are being released on amazon now should have waited for them, but I got this, uh, you know, you snooze. I didn't want to snooze, and I didn't want to lose, so I ended up picking it up on 4K with the slip. Nice looking slip. It is the 25th anniversary edition. Uh, came out uh, earlier last, uh, later last year, like late in the year, but it didn't. we didn't get it here in Canada. So once I saw it, I had to snag it. Next was a 4K steelbook I got, and that completed my Universal Monster steelbooks that they had they were making last year. And that was the Wolfman on 4K steelbook, the 80th anniversary. Uh, I kind of held off on buying uh, like this copy because I knew I was like, oh, I want to get my two main favorite, which is Dracula and Frankenstein. And if I wanted to get all the movies, I'll just buy the whole box set. But I just love the artwork of these. And I want to be a, and I'm kind of a completionist when it comes to these things. So I uh, pulled the trigger and got the Wolfman on 4K Steelbook. Not my favorite of all of the um, OG uh, Universal Monster movies, but still a good movie. I have the other uh, uh, Wolfman and I heard they're making another Wolfman remake. So uh, excited for that. And, uh, you know, you got to you gotta take some notes on the OGs. You know, you got to see where you came from. And it comes with this very nice... Uh, limited like anniversary special edition uh, J card and it looks absolutely beautiful the steel book looks really nice so that was the only steel book I got from the month of February and next was at the same location of that scream the, the sunrise uh, cinema one I got this boom the apocalypse now final cut uh, this like huge edition um, this comes with all of the editions of uh, Apocalypse Now on 4K. Because I saw a, a fellow Canadian, uh, uh, not Bluetuber, because he doesn't have a YouTube channel, but a, a, a Blu-ray enthusiast, a Canadian cinema, he got uh, the Steelbook sent to him. And I was like, oh, I want that movie so badly. And uh, I went to my cinema, local cinema one, and I was able to find it here. Not the um, Steelbook, but still a great addition to the collection. Very nice uh, J card and uh, comes like that and it folds out and it comes with all of these, these all of these goodies. Uh, three 4Ks or two, yeah, three 4Ks and a bunch of Blu-rays, Blu I think. I don't know, I don't know how, what, what this comes with. I need to read this, but uh, I need to watch this. Francis Ford Coppola goodness. And uh, yeah, I, now I need to get Platoon. Hopefully Platoon gets a 4K soon. Platoon gets a 4K soon. Yeah, exactly. And then next is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse on 4K. Uh, 
I have every Spider-Man movie on 4K. I, 4K. I even have No Way Home, the 4K Steelbook pre-ordered, so I'm excited for that when that comes out. But yeah, uh, Spider-Man Enter the Spider-Verse, uh, the least watched Spider-Mans in the entire series. I've even watched the Amazing Spider-Man movies more than once, but I finally got this on 4K uh, for a decent price for 14 bucks. Um, I know a lot of people say this is the best Spider-Man movie, and a lot of people say this is actually a really good uh, introduction to animation on 4K. And I'm excited to check that out. Uh, I heard something different about the, the frame rate. I think uh, Peter B. Parker's, I think, in 30, 30 frames and uh, Miles Morales is in 24 frames. I have no idea, but, you know, I uh, hesita I hesitated buying this 4K for a, for, a few, for months. I was going to get it on Black Friday, but it was still 14 bucks. Uh, and I decided to pick up uh, $9 Blu-rays instead. But uh, I finally picked it up, and I'm excited to rewatch this. I know it's on Netflix, but that you can't... You're not going to get the full, uh, you know, fully fledged, non-compressed, uh, nice stuff. So, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Excited for this. Next was one of my more recent pickups. Uh, so, yeah, I filmed myself picking up all of these Blu-rays. So, if you want to check out my 4K Blu-ray and Blu-ray physical media hunts, check out this tab right here. This also includes, like, reviews and just everything Blu-ray related. Uh, click that uh, tab over there and it'll take you to an entire playlist. I have some banger videos from my early days. So view, uh, videos with like 30 views, uh, get those numbers up because they actually are some pretty good hunting videos. But anyways, I got this at my Walmart, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Went down in price about a few months ago. Uh, I was kind of hesitant on getting it, but I finally pulled the trigger because, you know, I wasn't really picking up anything. No new releases really intrigued me. So, uh, yeah, and it went down in price. Uh, it was $30 originally, or $32 originally, and it finally went down to $25 or $26. So I was able to finally pick this up because everyone is talking about this. I think Films at Home put this at his number one 4K of the year. I, I believe, I'm not too sure, but it was definitely on his list. And I always wanted to check it out, and uh, I finally have it on 4K. I watched, I rewatched all of the movies uh, last year. Like, I watched Godzilla... Uh, King of Monsters and the um, Kong Skull Island. So I'm excited to check this out. Hopefully there's less Millie Bobby Brown, please. Hopefully there's some good, uh, you know, kaiju versus monster action. Now these were the uh, the pickups of the month. I I really like these were some big scores because I got it for dirt cheap, uh, especially uh, for four Ks. Uh, and that was Dunkirk on 4K. Got this about last week on the uh, flea market pickups. Got this for $13 with a slip cover. Um, uh, here in Canada, this retails MSRP for around $36, $38. So, so I was excited to find this with a slip cover for $13. Bucks. Guy gave me a good deal on it. I, I spent a lot of money at that flea market vendor, so... You know, gave me a good deal on it. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to check this out on 4K Blu-ray. Uh, and, yeah, I have the original Blu-ray of it, and that looked amazing. So I'm excited to check out how the HDR differs, how, it, you know, how, how does it make a difference. Uh, because when I, my first ever, when I first got my uh, 4K TV, the first movie I checked out was, um, was Dunkirk and uh, Mad Max Fury Road. And I was blown away by those experiences. So I'm excited to check out Dunkirk in its full 4K glory. And then the last 4K I got of the month was War for the Planet of the Apes, one of my favorite movies of all time. If you check my letterbox uh, in the header over there, uh, if you check my um, letterbox, it is in my top five favorite movies uh, of all time. Not of all time, but currently. But uh, yeah, this has a very deep emotional impact on me. And it's just filmed great. The cinematography is beautiful. Uh, watching the stream on the 4K stream on Disney Plus looked beautiful and amazing. So I'm excited to check out how the 4K looks. And those are all of the 4Ks I picked up of the month. Let's talk about the Blu-rays. Okay, so a lot of these were from a uh, flea market vendor I showed you. If you've seen those videos, you know what to expect. Uh, first off here, I got Train Spotting. Uh, a drug movie, uh, you know, Ewan McGregor, early young Ewan McGregor, and I heard a lot of good things about this movie. Uh, Danny Boyle directed this. Uh, I don't really know that much about the movie, but I'm glad I got it on Blu-ray. 
next is the Star Trek uh, motion picture, the first movie, because uh, if you, uh, my next movie you'll see, uh, it didn't come with this. It came with three, four, and five. And uh, yeah, so I was able to get this for six nine nine, a little more than I'm willing to spend, but brand new. Uh, and you know, I, I haven't really found this anywhere else. So boom, Star Trek, the first ever motion picture on Blu-ray, you know. Segwaying into Star Trek the Motion Trilogy, the Motion uh, Motion Picture Trilogy. I know these got 4K transfers, but I mean, I just want to dip my toes in the Star Trek um, in the Star Trek fandom because I really appreciate uh, great filmmaking, great uh, great just storytelling, and I know this has a huge fan base. So I also want to be a part of that fan base. You know, if people are loving this form of uh, content i also want to be a part of that because you know it probably might make me uh into that i watched the pilot episode of star trek a bit you know long in the tooth but it was you know it was a great episode um it takes a lot out of you though so i'm excited to uh check out all of these movies i now have the four i don't know if they made more of the uh these uh blu-rays or more movies but i have the first four movies so i'm excited to check that out and see what all the hype is about Next movie is Guy Ritchie's Rock and Rolla. I mainly got it for uh, Gerard Butler, and uh, I know uh, Tom Hardy is in this movie, I believe. And uh, so, yeah, I'm excited to get into this. I know nothing about this, uh, but it's also a, a UK. Uh, it came from the UK, if you can tell by the thick case. And uh, it works. It works on my UBP X700, so uh, Rock and Rolla. Next is uh, Raging Bull on Blu-ray. Uh, this doesn't have a 4K yet. I hope it will soon. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say this is a, a amazing movie. I have yet to see this. I'm getting into uh, Martin Scorsese, getting into all those movies. I've watched a bunch of Martin Scorsese films, but I want to watch all of them. So uh, I was able to snag a copy of Raging Bull on Blu-ray. It came with this weird uh, cardboard cover uh, that I did not appreciate because I feel like it came with a slip cover originally. But the guy just like cut it off and stuck a thing. I don't know. But I switched out the cover and uh, boom, Raging Bull on a uh, Blu-ray. And another uh, Robert De Niro film, and that is uh, Once Upon a Time in America. I posted this on Reddit as a part of my like weekend pickups. I used to I like to post uh, on my on uh, on like 4K Blu-ray and Blu-ray forums. You know when I get pickups and stuff, just to you know show and tell whatever. But apparently, like we were saying, this is actually a really hard movie to come by. So I'm excited because uh, this isn't the extended director's cut, but this is still better than the theatrical cut, which I think is like like two hours, an hour and fifty minutes. This is the this is the three hour and forty nine minute, I believe, movie. So I'm excited to get into this. I've seen the first thirty minutes of it, and uh, yeah. So uh, boom, Once Upon a Time in America. Next is the Prestige. Uh, uh, Christopher Nolan goodness I have yet to watch this movie uh I think there's a 4k of it I'm not too sure if there is I'm definitely picking up because Hugh Jackman Christian Bale Michael Caine Scarlett Johansson David Bowie it can't go wrong with that cast next is the Oceans trilogy I kind of just wanted Oceans 1 but you know it came with 2 and 3 and it wasn't for that much of a price I think it was like 7 bucks so uh triple feature uh love the first movie I've yet to see the second and the third movie uh, but I uh, can't wait to delve deep into those movies uh, one at a time. Next what is the Wayne's World 2 movie collection. I got this at my dr local drugstore uh, mainly because um, it was cheap. It was like $4.99 I think for two movies. Uh, and they're actually new transfers. This is from 2019-18. So uh, boom. Uh, this is the same transfer that you're going to find on the Steelbook. I didn't want to pick up the Wayne's World Steelbook because it wasn't really that uh, impactful. Like I wasn't that huge of a fan of uh, Wayne's World, but uh, you know, um, Mike uh, Mike Myers, Canadian comedy. I'm a Canadian, and uh, yeah, at Wayne's World party time, excellent. Next is the butterfly effect. Uh, no butterflies in this movie. Kind of kind of disturbing movie, but uh, definitely Ashton Kutcher's uh, best movie so far, and I highly recommend it. Next is a newer pickup, and that is the Boondock Saints. Uh, I have yet to see this, but they got Daryl. They got Daryl from Walking Dead. And, uh, yeah, and uh, I'm excited to check this out and see. Oh, there's a lot of cool bonus special features in there, so boom. Next is uh, Equilibrium. I love, I'm, I'm a slut for uh, 
the matrix and uh, a lot of people said this is kind of like a matrix vibe like sci-fi uh shoot 'em up movie um christian bale ty diggs and it's a weird weird caption that says forget the matrix this movie will blow you away and uh i recently saw this on vfx artist reacts to great and bad uh movies or uh, visual effects so i'm excited to check this out and see what the hype is about i love i uh, love christian bale and uh equilibrium this sounds like a uh, a fun time not the best movie but it sounds like a fun time next is the fugitive apparently this is a great transfer a lot of people were telling me about this in the comments of my reddit post uh comes with a documentary movie a documentary uh making of and uh you know i'm excited to rewatch this movie um my father likes this movie and i remember catching this every time it uh showed up on um on uh on amc so the fugitive uh harrison ford tommy lee jones can't go wrong next is the talented mr ripley uh, i got this for five bucks at my local flea market and uh, i'm excited i did because you got some matt damon uh jude law and some goop action yes gwyneth paltrow before she was shilling her vagina scented candles and before she's in the mcu uh so boom the talented mr ripley i heard a lot of good things about it i've yet to watch this so uh yeah don't spoil it for me in the comments <laughs> Next is a Terry, um, Terry Gilliam movie, and that is 12 Monkeys. Uh, I recently watched Brazil, and that was a great film. So I wanted to watch more of his films. And I got 12 Monkeys, got uh, Bruce Willis and uh, Brad Pitt. So I'm excited to see what this movie entails. A bit older of a transfer, uh, but hopefully it, uh, it, it, it hopefully it's a decent transfer. I've yet, uh, I have one of these uh, deals with myself that I won't buy movies if it's released before the year 2008 or 2009. This seems to be released in 2009, so we're in the clear. But yeah, a lot of those early, early Blu-ray uh, transfers, they don't really hold up. They're really like, D they're really like DVD upscales. And it's just, it, it doesn't really look good. But uh, thankfully, this is a, a newer transfer, I guess. Next is War. A great looking Blu-ray transfer, but a terrible, terrible movie. I was expecting a lot from this. You know, Jet Li, Jason Statham. But the martial arts is very Americanized. Very quick cuts. You don't really get any good action scenes. And it's just a weird twist, weird story. And it, it, it just makes no sense whatsoever. It's a nautical movie, and you don't even get that good action. The Matrix has better uh, martial arts. And you got freaking Jet Li and Jason Statham. Both of them are, you know, experienced martial artists, yet you got uh, white, boy, uh, white boy Keanu Reeves schooling them up. So weird. Anyways, war on Blu-ray. Next, I got this at a, um, at a, at a, at a Salvation Army, and that was Paul Thomas Anderson's The Master, uh, you know, I love film Seymour Hoffman and Joaquin Phoenix. I don't know how to my voice. And Amy Adams. So I'm excited to check this out. I've never seen a PTA movie yet, so I'm excited. My friend keeps on telling me that you got to check out PTA. You got to check out Wes Anderson. You got to check out all these, you know, artistic films and movies and directors. So boom, I, 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 uh, I bit the bullet and I got the master for like two bucks. So it was a good deal. I can't wait to check this out. Next, I had uh, Lethal Weapon 1, and I had to get Lethal Weapon 2. Low-key, my favorite uh, Lethal Weapon. I love, love Lethal Weapons. Uh, and, uh, you know, Joe Pesci, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like Joe Pesci in this movie. I think he's absolutely hilarious. Okay, 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 okay. You know, he plays, He's because he's such a good actor, he's able to play this, like, really badass, like, fearful, like, dude in the goodfellas but then he's able to also play this bumbling idiot in uh, lethal weapon 2 so a great movie mel gibson danny glover and i think um richard donner passed away recently i'm not too sure but uh yeah uh one of my childhood favorites yes childhood favorites yes you're correct uh my dad always used to watch this movie this is his favorite his, this is his favorite series so i had to get it in full hd hopefully we get a 4k of these soon because these are just great films uh, next is Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. A great film. Not my favorite. I had higher hopes, uh, but it's still a great film. Uh, not the best uh, Blu-ray transfer. It looks really wonky, but I think that's the art style. Very cheapy looking, uh, but it still has great cinematography. It's a funny as hell movie. It's very dry, uh, so it's very British humor, so it, it caters more to that audience, but it's still a great film. Next is The Wolfman, the 2011-2010 remake. 
I've never seen this, um, and I always wanted to, but uh, I heard really bad reviews about this. You know, Hugo Weaving, Benicio Del Toro, Anthony Hopkins, Emily Blunt, that's her name. But yeah, uh, it comes with the unrated director's cut and the theatrical cut, so I'm excited to check this out and get into this uh, Wolfman. Boom, on Blu-ray. Next is Cinderella Man on Blu-ray. Got this for five bucks at my local physical, not physical media store, but the, my local drugstore. They have a, st uh, like a, those revolving, you know how like those revolving uh, things of like of, uh, sunglasses? Instead of sunglasses, they had Blu-rays. And, uh, you know, I heard a lot of good things about this. I love Russell Crowe. Uh, this is Renee Zellweger before she uh, removed her nose or she had face surgery or whatever. She looks a lot different now than she did before. Uh, so, yeah. Cinderella. Man. Next is the Cowboys and Aliens. A uh, really shitty name. Uh, you know, like it really turned me off. I have these the collectible Seven Eleven cups. That's interesting. But uh, okay, I thought that was Brie Larson for a second. But uh, Daniel Craig, Harrison Ford. Uh, you know, I recently started really liking Daniel Craig movies. I watched Lair Cake and I watched all of his 007 movies, and he's absolutely amazing in those. So I'm excited to check this out. It's like a Western, uh, gothic, modern West, neo-Western movie. You know, taking uh, uh, creative liberties. Uh, Harrison Ford, you can't go wrong with that. And Aliens, I have no idea. But uh, hopefully, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying this is actually an underrated movie because a lot of people just shut it off based on its name. But apparently it's actually a pretty decent movie. So I'm excited to get that. And it's also the extended edition. I got this at my local thrift store and uh, yeah, boom. Next is Don't Judge Me. Don't judge me, but, um, uh, I mean, what can I say? It's, it's, it's the Amazing Spider-Man 2. You know, some people like this movie, and uh, God bless you if you do. I just did not like this movie whatsoever. And it makes me sad because it says only available at Best Buy, and Best Buy doesn't sell movies anymore, or besides new releases. But they don't have any of their older movies. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I only got this because uh, I was watching um, No Way Home soon. Uh, so I picked up all the uh, Spider-Man movies on Blu-ray and uh, decided to give this a watch because I was going to get it on 4K. But, uh, you know, it's just a terrible movie and it was like 29 bucks. And I was like, I'm not going to spend that much money on a movie I, I hate. So, yeah, it, it comes with a comic book. I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. But besides that, it's just... It's just a waste of a movie. Mastered in 4K. Uh, it doesn't really look that good. I mean, it's an okay transfer. It's just, it doesn't really do anything for me. But yeah, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. At least I have all the Spider-Man movies on, on DVD and Blu-ray and 4K, I, I can say. Next is, on a, another sour note, is uh, Good Day to Die Hard. I want all the good, uh, all the Die Hard movies on Blu-ray because I got the, uh, the complete collection. Not complete, but the collection from 1 to Live Free. So I just had to get a good day, even though it's not a good movie. <laughs> it, I just had to complete the collection of Die Hard movies. Um, yeah. Sam Worthington. What happened, man? Next is Drive on Blu-ray. Uh, a pretty heavy, heavy disc. I think it comes with a, a boatload of stuff. But yeah, it comes with this like, like pamphlet or whatever. Little White Lies Drive. You know, a lot of people say this is a very iconic movie. Ooh, it comes with a very nice uh, booklet full of pictures and uh, essays. So I'm excited for that. But, you know, this is a very iconic film. A lot of film bros like this movie. So I thought I'd decide to give it a chance, to give it a spin on the old Blu-ray player. And uh, hopefully it's good. You know, you know, it's, a lot of people like this movie. So I decided to give it a chance and boom, drive, for, uh, drive on Blu-ray for five bucks. You can't go wrong. With a slipcover too. Okay, we're getting down to the last four movies. Uh, Kill Bill 1 and 2. Uh, I've been trying to um, collect all the all the Quentin Tarantino movies on Blu-ray. I'm close. I'm close. I just need to get uh, Jackie Brown, uh, Hateful Eight, and um, Reservoir Dogs. So Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. Uh, I'm excited to own it on Blu-ray. And I can't wait to watch this. I've never watched these movies. I think once on like the TV, but I barely remember. I think I was too young. Next is Donnie Brasco. This is the ex. Oh, this is the extended cut. So I'm excited to see what the extended cut uh, entails. But I recently watched this because Michael Francis, if you know that guy, the former mod boss, reacts whatever. He does his Mafia movie Monday, Mob movie Monday, 
and uh, this was a part of his list. And it's actually a great film, you know. Um, you can't go wrong with Johnny Depp and Al Pacino. It's 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 just, it's just hard to do. But yeah, uh, Donnie Brasco. I ain't no rat. Next is Cube Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut. Uh, his last film, and he said this is his personal favorite movie. Got it on Blu-ray uh, at this weird uh, vendor at my local Blu-ray, uh, at my local flea market. So, gave me for four bucks. Can't go wrong. Uh, a worthy final chapter to the great director and career. Uh, I was turned off by like the uh, the synopsis of the movie. It doesn't really suit my style. Same with Lolita. But, you know, I thought I'd give this a chance. And uh, I'm trying to collect all of the Kubrick films on Blu-ray, so boom. And then the last pickup of the month, and that was Mystic River on Blu-ray. I mainly got it because I love Clint Eastwood directed films, and it has an all-star cast. You got Sean Penn, Tim Robbins, Kevin Bacon, Lawrence Fishburne, Marvia, Marcia Gay Harden, and Laura Linney. Um, and it's, it comes with a slipcover or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But it looks like a great film. And I'm excited to get into that. All right, and those were my pickups of the month. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, before I uh, leave you guys, thank you so much. We recently hit 500 subscribers. That means, whew, that means so much to me. I just want to thank you all for supporting my channel through thick and thin, through uh, injuries. I've been injured. I've, I've gone through a lot. I've been trying to post as much as possible. I've been posting through being sick, through being in a lot of pain. And I just want to say thank you for sticking around. And uh, yeah, so thank you for a, a 500 subscribers. Let's pray for another five. And uh, yeah, so those are my pickups of the month. Thank you so much for watching the video. I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. More Blu-rays than 4Ks because honestly, Blu-rays still hold up. They're not obsolete. And we're at a time where Blu-ray is a past generation. So we're able to get a lot of Blu-rays for cheap, especially um, used Blu-rays. Blu um, so, I mean, it lowers the resale value of it, but physical media doesn't really have that much resale unless it's like a huge collector's edition. But, uh, yeah, um, yeah, so, uh, thanks so much for watching another video of mine. I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Please, 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 uh, leave a like and subscribe and comment down below your favorite pickups of the month. For me, it would be, um, my, uh, Dunkirk and, uh, War for the Planet of the Apes on Blu-ray. I uh, got two for 20 so that was great. Uh, and let me know down below, do you guys pick up anything cool this month? I have been Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Please have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. Please stay safe and God bless. Uh, yeah. Cheers, guys.